public parks are for everyone to use, whether it's a party, it's a game of football, whatever yeah. you want to use it for, it's there for you to use it. There is a local youth sports team that almost lost their practice space, though. They found out they can use the parks, but it comes with a catch. Nabil Ramana live in East Austin to explain. Good morning, Nabil. Good morning. Yeah, we all love walking through public parks. Here at Miller Development, there are quite a few. You can see there are trails to run on. There are places like this to work out. Anyone can come up and get in a workout, hang out with friends. But the youth program that we spoke to said that the field that they're using, the one you're looking out over now, well, they were told to leave after practicing here for months. For Kyrie Daly, what's your favorite thing about playing football? Just hitting. Football is life. You like throwing touchdowns? Yes, sir. He's just one of the more than 180 athletes in the ATX Longhorns Youth Football Organization. <laughs> they even have a cheer squad. The kids love their home field in the Miller development. Find them. Coach Edrick Walden says they've been using the fields for about five and a half months, but recently, they were told they had to stop. The community love us, you know, the community comes out, they didn't donate it and support these kids on and off the field. So the broken that news kind of, you know, it, it hurt. We checked in and the parks in Miller development are all public, but for larger groups, there is a permit required. Actually, we submitted two applications, you know, um, that, you know, I guess were overlooked on the other side. I reached out to Greg Weaver, executive vice president with Catellus Development, who's the developer partner with the city of Austin. He says what led to the team being moved out was the size of the group. Really, the, the issue is just the total number of people being above 50 people. Um, we, tr you know, the parks are designed out here for lots of different uses. But there is some good news. We've recently met with the team and both parties were able to reach an agreement. I mean, the simple game plan is to continue use the park, but spread out a little bit within the park. It's a 36 acre park. Weaver is also working with the team to help with the cost of the permits. You know, and they want to lend so many helping hands, you know, to where they want to, you know, help with finances. Now the team is practicing once again on their favorite field. And all is well in Miller. Horns on me, horns on three. Now the ATX horns are able to use this field and the even better news is both parties are discussing possibly having them move to a more permanent spot out here in the Miller development that's under construction right now. So having a home base really. Uh, the coach telling me though that they were actually using Facebook and social media to get the word out about this and that's really how it caught fire and spread to many people and that's how they think that they were able to get the word out and, and keep their home field here at the Miller development. I can tell you a lot of smiling faces uh, at the practice that I was out at because of being able to practice once again at the the place they love. Back to you. Yeah, Kyrie, he knows. He knows what's up, <laughs> right? He's so cute. Future Heisman winner. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the permit rules also apply to fitness groups. So even if classes are free to you, it's not free for the organizers. They have to pay a fee. Austin's Parks and Rec's website shows personal and yoga trainers, including tour guides. They all have to pay a $50 permit fee every six months. And then they also have to pay an additional fee if those sessions include more than four people.